Now, in a James Bond film, there's always a scene where a car makes a preposterous leap through the air. And the way they do this is they fire the car off the end of this huge gas-powered cannon. Now, they're not making a James Bond film at the moment, so we were wondering, what else could you do with that cannon? This is a quarry, and here, painted on the floor of the quarry, is a very big dartboard. Up here, on this cliff, we have six used cars, which, if you squint, could look a bit like darts. So, dartboard, cars. I think you can see where this is going. We're going to take it in turns to throw our darts at the dartboard. Three darts each, the highest score wins. Probably a speedboat or something. <laughs> Now, because these cars weigh a little bit more than the average pub arrows, we'll need this. Our mega-powerful James Bond cannon. It works using nitrogen, compressed at about 1,400 psi. It comes out of the end of the cannon and it'll power the car forwards with a thrust of about 20 tonnes. Now, the important thing to know is this. We can vary the amount of pressure, which will affect the distance and the angle of the car. So we've got control over the power and the elevation. So there is some skill in this. Oh, yes. Because we have such a motley collection of cars, we thought we'd start with two of roughly equal weight to get our eye in. The Vauxhall Astra and the Ford Orion. But who was to throw first? One, two, three. That was, no. fair. That was fair. I didn't... Now, I have no idea what I'm doing, so here goes nothing. Are we ready? That's a 25. Yeah, all right, 25. No, I'll grant you that. Look That's the coolest the thing I've ever seen. <laughs> right, my go. I always liked that shape of Astra. My dad had one, I crashed it. You're going to crash this one in a minute. Big star. Fractionally up from there. That is an overshoot, if ever I saw one. Just look and learn. <laughs> That's a, ten. It's a 25! That's a 10. It landed in a 10, easily. James, that is more 25 no. than yours. The entire no, car is on where the... the car lands. It landed in the... Look no, it didn't. That. That's where that... that no, it didn't. That landed in the 10. This is where the bits groove of... in the ground, where this... the car And landed. anyway, actually, no, the front would have been in the 25. Rubbish. Here is where the Vauxhall <laughs> This is rather conveniently placed. In the 10 circle. Ten points for Fine. you, yes, making okay. me 15 in front. Yes. So I get to choose cars. A full 1,200 psi, please. More elevation, about 40 degrees. To make the bullseye a more exciting proposition, we've put a caravan on it. That caravan, it, that is genius. Whoever thought of that addition? It was me. It's not a bad idea. Fire! That was rubbish! I mean, it was really good to watch, but it was just pathetic. Maybe it's not as heavy as I thought. Now, I've asked for 800. I think you've overdone it. Yeah, but there's plenty of elevation. I don't know how. Fire! Five. Was, that I was thought... a five. That was superb drama, but only a five, <laughs> I'm afraid. I thought that was going in then. <laughs> there. Clear. Clear. And I'm now on 15. Yep. Strike through the... All right. Yep. yep. This is James's last car, and he is well in the lead. OK, James. Are you ready for I'm it? braced. Yes, yes, yes! yes. <laughs> I have to admit that was a five. Still, it was a good one. And that you were right. Our final car is Hammond's Volvo. He's 15 points behind and needs either an inner or a bully to win. But the real prize would be the caravan. It's, a, it's, a, it's quite a happy coming together of Volvo and it's kind caravan, of apt, isn't but not it? in the way that we would expect. <laughs> Yes! 
<laughs> you can have that. <laughs> oh, yes. That was a good feeling. Volvo kills caravan. 50 points. <laughs> Final scores, 30-65. <laughs> but we are all winners because the caravan bought it.